From a distance, the countryside surrounding Tarsia betrays little of its dark history. This was the site of Italy's largest internment camp during the Second World War. Today, it is a museum. Here, Jewish people from all over Italy and Europe, even political dissidents from Libya, were imprisoned. Victims of the fascist dictatorships that reigned at the time. The graves here mark the final resting place of those who died in the camp. Now, 70 years later, Tarsia is moving away from that past. Franco Corbelli, a civil rights activist, was profoundly moved by the European refugee crisis and proposed enlarging the current cemetery to accommodate the remains of the victims who died trying to reach Europe. Tarsia, he says, is the logical place given its history and the fact that it already accommodates graves of different religions. We need to remember the Jewish babies that were born and died here. Those poor children were fleeing war and persecution. This makes me think of today's child refugees. 10,000 meters squared are being dedicated to expanding the cemetery. It's being funded by the Ministry of Interior as well as the regional government. But it's not just a place where relatives can come and mourn for their lost loved ones. It's also being designed as a symbolic monument for all of those who died while trying to flee conflict and terror. Here at the heart of the cemetery will stand a memorial to Alan Kurdi, the three-year-old boy who drowned in the Mediterranean Sea last September. Tarsia's mayor says that it will be an important symbol to counter the current animosity towards refugees. At a time when xenophobia and racism are a common occurrence, we're going against a current. These are our principles and we're proposing something that has a universal value. An olive branch to Tarsia's past and to Europe's present humanitarian crisis. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, Tarsia, Southern Italy.